What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides and more. And recently a lot of you have requested that I show you my garages. So today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of both of my 10 car garages, which in total have cost me over $10 million because I've upgraded every one of my racing vehicles to the max, customized every vehicle that I have, and of course I've swapped out a ton of vehicles too. I'll also be talking a bit about the TG Elite and TG soon to be Elite crews, how you can get into them, and what makes them so awesome to be a part of. In addition to that, I'll also be showing you the new crew emblem that was designed in the crew emblem editor by a friend of mine which took several hours to make and is really really impressive all of that and more in today's video so if you do enjoy it please be sure to press that like button for me and also be sure to subscribe for more daily top-notch gta 5 videos so guys, I have my main garage, which is at the 400k Eclipse Towers apartment, and my side garage, which is at the Tinsel Towers, the new one that came out in the High Life update. I got my first garage when I was doing Rooftop Rumble like crazy, it was probably around the time that the stimulus package came out, if anyone remembers that. And I just bought the Tinsel Towers one recently. Now my main garage features 10 TG Elite vehicles. These are all the best in class, the ones that I find to be the best in each of their classes so that I'm prepared for every race when custom vehicles are on. The TG Elite colors are matte black for the primary and then the crew color as the secondary. All the vehicles also feature the TG Elite logo, which was designed by my friend Dash of Loyalty on Twitter. This custom crew emblem logo took several hours to create and was made to replicate the actual TG Elite logo and I think he did a pretty amazing job as you can see the comparison here. The crew emblem for the TG soon to be Elite is the same but with the words soon to be on the top to signify the difference because the TG Elite is sort of the elite crew that's you know going to be the ones doing heists and death matches and stuff like that. Basically the somewhat pro team I guess I'm, I don't know if you could use that word with GTA but I will go ahead and do it. Like I said earlier, this garage is my main one and features all the cars that are the best for their class, but of course there is some debate to it. Not all these cars have the highest top speed or the highest acceleration, but I believe they are the best because of either handling, traction, braking, weight of the car, or some other factor. I may go more in depth into each of these later in a video, but for now, here are my cars. So first up, I have one of my favorite cars, the Pegasi Centorno. It is the best supercar. It is definitely beats out the adder the entity and all the other ones because even though it doesn't have the highest top speed the highest top speed goes to the adder it does have really awesome acceleration braking traction it really makes it an all-around perfect car i mean perfect in the sense of all the cars that are in the game so far it's the best for racing unless you're just doing a huge straightaway where the adder will eventually top off and win again all my cars are upgraded to the max there's none in this garage that are um, not of the highest standard so they're all upgraded with turbo all upgraded with brakes speed spoilers if possible and everything like that next up we have the allergy rh8 which is of course godzilla if you don't know this is the nissan gtr in real life oh oh i forgot all of my things have the license plate top notch has a seven in there because somebody stole top notch and um i think it looks cool it adds a little unique flavor anyway Again, the crew colors, everything like that. This is the best of the sports class. Next up, we have the Adder. Again, it used to be the fastest before the Zentorno came out. Well, it used to be the best, I would say, or the entity in the supercar class before the Zentorno came out. And it's fitted out with everything. Unfortunately, it does not have a spoiler. So that gives it a bit less points. Uh, because spoilers now add traction, if you guys didn't see that video that I had put up. Next up, we have the Entity. I love the Entity because of what it meant to me. It was my favorite car when GTA Online came out, and it was the fastest. I used it in all the races, and it's still particularly good, but uh, definitely not as good as Zentor Zentorno. And I like the looks and everything. I think it's just a wicked car. Again, TG Elite logo on it, everything like that. Pretty awesome. Here we have the Gauntlet, and the Gauntlet in its class of muscle has a few ones that are faster than it, this one just has some pretty awesome traction acceleration and overall i would say it is the best muscle car i know a lot of people are going to debate with me but um i often win races in the muscle category with it i kept the wheels in the muscle category just to keep its look sort of wanted to make it look like an american power beast sort of thing next up probably my favorite car is the exemplar this is actually a four-door even though it looks like a two-door it's really sleek i believe it's um Replicating an Aston Martin has a huge TG Elite logo on the front makes it look awesome tinted windows matte black all around of course top-notch license plate beautiful car 
Next up, we have the Ballista here, which is the best in the compact category. Really great car, nice handling, good on turns, everything like that. Not something I'll drive around all the time, but for races, it's really good. Here we have the Shafter, really an amazing car around turns, everything like that. Up there with one of my favorite cards that are less known, I believe the Exemplar you have to find, no, sorry, I believe the Shafter you have to find on the streets. And the colors are a bit weird because you can't customize it. Um, too properly the the trunk is blue and the front is blue as well looks kind of weird maybe you should make it all matte black maybe i'll think about doing that but um for now pretty cool car i like driving it around sometimes people are like oh what car is that and it's really good in races too it goes up against the super diamond i believe in this category and even though it doesn't beat it in top speed it's overall traction control and weight of the car really makes it my favorite and i'll be out of super diamond most of the time here we have the batty 801 of course people are going to say the akuma is better i find the body to be better i enjoy it better i've tried both and this is definitely the one that i believe wins me most motorcycle races which i don't play too many motorcycle races but when i want a bike this is the one i choose finally in this garage we have the monroe now again people are gonna argue the the z type is the best uh, z type is really fast it has a really heavy body though so it feels like a bathtub going around turns and stuff like that the monroe is an overall just really great car it looks really classy and it does really good on the track as well so guys that's it for this garage here i'm gonna go ahead and take my zentorno to the next one for that first garage i really do need to buy the sanchez i need to max that out because the sanchez is the best in the off-road category it does go against some of the actual vehicles because the sanchez is very easy to fall off very easy to die in when some of the other vehicles are you know sturdier and you probably won't fall off or anything like that maxing a sanchez out is definitely a good idea and something you should look into especially if you're into those off-road races next up is my second garage it features a bunch of other vehicles this is my side garage and i hardly ever use it i hardly even call the mechanic to call any cars from here but i'm going to show you guys anyway because there's some goodies in here to show you so again this garage is just sort of a mishmash of different vehicles i got the dubsta here because who doesn't like a dubsta it's outfitted with the tg leak crew colors a bit backwards here because this is the primary showing with the secondary matte black but it still looks cool great car you have to be over a level 100 to grab it and it's really fun to have when you're in open lobbies and stuff like that it's sort of pushed against this thing what the heck okay <laughs> i think i might lose the bumper then i have the the mesa here the canis mesa which is the meriwether um when you call in mercenaries this is their vehicle also really cool i just like how the the bars and everything like that are brightly colored makes it look really cool and unique next up we have franklin's buffalo s i thought this was really cool i liked his car in single player and i thought i'd get it here too again outfitted with the crew colors and everything like that here we have the banshee now guys i don't think i've ever mentioned this before but the dodge viper in real life when i was younger used to be my favorite car all time i always wanted them i thought they were the coolest car ever and so i got in this game as well i also have a tips and tricks video coming out about this vehicle about something special it can do so definitely be sure to stay tuned for that and i just love cruising around in this it's probably the only one that i call with my mechanic when i'm out playing here we have the Cognoscenti Cabrio, which I find to be a really awesome vehicle. This is, of course, modeled after the Bentley. And what a lot of people don't know is that this actually has a convertible. So you see that line there? Maybe you can't see it. It actually, if you hold right on the D-pad, it will turn into a convertible. Really cool car. Really classy. And a lot of people don't have it. It's one of those lesser known vehicles in GTA 5. And definitely buy this one if you want to turn some heads and maybe get your friends asking where do, where do i get that that's a really cool car so coming in on the end of these vehicles here i have the felter felter makes one of the best sounds in gta 5 i just love the way it looks all suited out looks great one of my favorite looking cars here we have the panto because why wouldn't you buy a panto they look so cool and they're little and they fit in all different types of places and i have a cool little luggage on it stickered it out sticker bombed it out because why not i kind of bought it in the the craze of the hipster update i'm not sure if i'd buy it again but yeah i would i would buy it again it's awesome finally the last two vehicles i have the nemesis here customized with the the red nemesis wording and the the black painting on it with the top notch license plate this is actually a really rare vehicle 
for people who are higher level i believe if you're lower level it's easier to get but i actually made a guide about this i believe it to be the rarest vehicle in gta 5 because it's not acquirable in a mission it's not acquirable through purchasing and you have to find it the the spawn rates are pretty terrible so it makes it really hard to find and i'm gonna keep it just because it's pretty awesome it does it doesn't go really fast or anything like that but it's worth it in my opinion finally here we have the roosevelt the albany roosevelt and the only reason i have this car is because it is limited edition it does look really cool though it does take up garage space but i mean because it's limited edition because it looks cool i am going to keep it and on that note i've been thinking about buying the sovereign the western sovereign that came in the independence day special dlc and i was thinking about adding that in here i'm not sure what car to take out probably one of these oh i forgot this is michael's car this is a tailgater the obey tailgater no longer rare you can find it on the website and purchase it it's not really rare but it looks cool and i wanted one so i got it again i was thinking about picking up the western sovereign it is limited time and i do like having that limited edition kind of stuff so i might replace one of these vehicles in here maybe maybe michael's car but i actually like it so i don't know so guys, that concludes the garage tour. I want to know what was your favorite vehicle out of these garages. Did you enjoy the paint colors I have? And just leave me your overall impression. Hopefully I've inspired you to make your own garages, possibly even, you know, the ones having the best cars. Again, that's all up to you. I'd test them out, see which car is your favorite in the class. Of course, look up some information to make sure you know you can be competitive, not just have like a shitty car that won't win. So definitely do that if you're interested. And who knows, maybe I'll make a series on the fastest cars in each category, testing them out and stuff like that. For those of you interested in joining the TG Elite or the TG soon to be Elite, the TG Elite is currently not recruiting. We only have 15 members, they're close friends, or people that I've played with that have really excelled at deathmatch or races or anything like that. Recruitment for the TG Elite will be when heist information comes out because I am looking for the best of the best and I will be hosting live trials on twitch.tv slash typicalgamer so everyone can watch and to sign up to those you're going to have to follow me on Twitter. I'm going to let you know more information on there when the time comes. If you want to be part of a crew that I'm in though you can join the TG soon to be elite which is open to everybody. I believe we're near 700 members so we have uh, enough space for around 300 more so first come first serve there's going to be a link in the description definitely click that and join if you'd like. As always, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to press that like button and also be sure to subscribe because I don't want you to miss out on the amazing content I have planned for you in the next coming weeks. Bunch of giveaways, contests, stuff like that. I'm going to be covering all the updates in depth, so definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Also, be sure to check out my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch in the description below. And I just want to take a second to thank you all for your amazing support recently. I really felt it really hype up, ramp up in the last few weeks, and I really, really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.